got some feedback on my code that I submitted, so any Morty for that. I'm gonna try and work through his suggestions.
Hey. Hey, man. Um, I don't really know what you mean. You can test for a message on that method and only show the center print. It's null. Yeah, so where are we? TF goal item gives to player. Yeah. Um, Oh, oh, sorry. I know what you mean by that. That's exactly what yeah. I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. Well, no, I, I haven't committed that yet, but that was how I dealt with it. Oh, uh, okay. Because um, I okay. looked at the results first, and yeah, I, would, I thought if I did it there, well, it's every time there's something that calls do results that doesn't have a message, it's going to get broadcast, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, if you do it on TF Goal and give to player and test for message, and if message doesn't exist, then you can do that. The only other thing um, you might want to look at, though, is <clears throat> TF goal item give to player is called by, um, like on the spawn functions, if team spawns automatically give an item to the player. Yeah, but this only, this is in an if block that says if the items, if the, if the item items field um, contains the bit field value for key one or key two, then these bits go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So you're going to do it no matter what. And anyway, even if people do give the key on spawn, they'll probably have a message about it anyway. But yeah, yeah. so as long as you're testing message field, then you're fine. Um, and to do that, I just did cool. like if ap.message equals string dot, string, oh, that should be item, not ap. Um, but yeah, if, not ap. Oh, hang on. What? Item. Oh yeah, that needs to be item. But um, otherwise, just equals string underscore null. Is that that's a that's what I'm testing for, right? Yep. And yeah, give that a test and see if that works. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm glad I spoke to you because I at least saw the bug that I'm checking AP when I should be checking item. Uh, I think I'm not very handsome because lots of people keep joining and leaving. <laughs> you got a big beard. <laughs> yeah, and it's uneven too. Weird, I really look in the mirror and now I'm like seeing myself a lot. What the fuck? <sighs> Yeah, that seems to work fine. <clears throat> um, the reloading thing, you want to talk about that real quick? Because I might put it in. Uh, yeah, so I don't mind either way. Um, I just don't like spamming messages too much. Like, I actually want to remove a bunch of messages. Yeah, I, so I would love to get rid of it. But the only way I can think of, well, not get rid of it, but not add it in. But the only way I can think of getting rid of it is once we go to FTE client, we can communicate with CSQC and then 
give people the option of playing a sound or whatever on reload. So all that sort of communication, message triggers won't be needed anymore, all that sort of crap we can get rid of, which is pretty cool. But can't we just add a sound? See, what happens if you stuff command a sound and they don't have the sound, or they don't want the sound to play? Is that how sounds are played at the moment with a stuff command? Yeah, with a stuff command. Oh. It's just locally played. Oh, I didn't realize Like, that. you can play stuff that's not locally played, but obviously you want it to be locally played. Oh, what do you mean you can play stuff that's not locally played? Well, you can play a sound that centers on an item. But maybe that's achieved through a stuff command as well. There's another way to play where you play it in in an area that's not the player. Oh, I see what you so mean. when you do you know play grandtimer.wave or whatever, you play it as the player and it follows the player around and yeah. it's just played locally. Whereas um yeah, say so picking up world, a wave. If yeah. It's in the world yep. people will be able to hear it based on yep. some some yep. um, Distance and volume, all that sort of shit. Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, so, um, I mean, I'm fine with doing it um, because, well, we can just release because I have that like pack zero dot pack repo. So, like, it's the same thing with Grand Wave. We added that, um, and I'm fine with adding other sounds. If you are, it just means that. Pack file would need to be updated because um, I guess yeah, you can't make those download from the server. Well, so I think forcing a sound on people and all that sort of stuff is a bad idea. So I just had a heap of dairy. My voice is getting weird. Um, well, what I was going to suggest is um, to use. Yeah, I can see your point though. Um, the thing is, I, I'm inclined to continue to add more assets to the game. I don't really have an issue with that. I don't mind, yeah, I don't mind the assets. I mean, make it optional whether the sound is played or not. Yeah, yeah. Well, then I was going to say that the default would just be an empty sound file. Like a, so it doesn't actually make a sound, but then it's just a file you can replace if you want to add your own. Um, but then I see what you mean. That's like breaking things for... A real note yeah. Except for that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's cool to add the possibility of people putting their sound on, but I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't think to me doing an, an empty sound file that gets played constantly every time you finish reloading is a bad solution. Is there a way, like, if like, can we filter out? I mean, I'm sure there's message filters or something in Easy Client or. Yeah, easy quake. There is. Um, although, you know, because I was thinking, because I wanted to add a sound anyway while you're reloading, like Mega Tier. I like that. Um, like, you know, it like clicks up as the shotgun reloads or whatever. Um, and then it would make sense to have a sound at the end. But I'm also mindful of like not overloading the user sounds. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, we can, with any new feature, just stick it all on a set info so that if you don't have that set info yeah. set, we won't use that feature so people can click the old one. And then if they do upgrade, I'll have that set info to be on by default. So it'll be there on the server, but it won't actually affect you unless you either upgrade or turn that set info on and add the sound, the assets, something like that. But again, the it's only... not an ideal solution because then we're yeah. the next version. We don't have a set Exactly. And that sort of also puts the burden on the server rather than the client as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think um, in the spirit of the most sensible and fast solution, that they message be like. I, I get what you mean, though. We don't want to message to appear for every single action that takes place yeah. but yeah i mean to me this is like a short-term thing i don't mind putting it in because i think reloading doesn't occur that much and i mean i i might want to reload sound and do it anyway but um and also to me it's a short-term thing because we might go to fte yeah and and in the spirit of consistency there is a message if you can reload and you're already full yeah exactly yep 
it'll either say clip full, it'll say reloading now, but it doesn't say when it's finished. And we communicate on the S bar, but that's not a sound. And if anything, the reloading now message is kind of just, uh, again, yeah. not bizarre because we're trying to help here. So he, he uh, would want both messages. I might put a broadcast on there then, or whatever. <laughs> Um, is that, so that is reloading now. Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll put text on there, and we can give it a shot. If it looks shit, or if it's annoying, or people complain, we can take it out just as easy. People won't notice because people don't really take heed of what's yeah. going on up there because there's too much going on up there. Like I, I, I honestly, I, I actually would want to remove basically everything that's not like. Like, even the Gren jumping messages? I... Yeah, see, I, I really like that stuff. I'm, I know you hate it. Why, why do you want to, like, uh, make it harder to lift jump? Harder to what? Lift jump. Like, why do you want to get dobbed on for lift jumping? Uh, I, think that's, I think it's good. I think it's part of, like, I don't mind giving hints to users. Yeah. It just seems Because graphic. if you can silently exit the lift constantly, no the matter what class can, you are. But yeah, can't. no matter what class you are, then I think that's a bit shit. Like, that's actually a balance thing as well, amazingly. It sounds so silly, but that is yet another tiny, tiny, tiny nerf to scale some medics. Yeah, but you know my philosophy is, uh, well, if, if, if we do these weird kind of annoying or strange things, for balance, then just don't do the annoying thing and lower the health for whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, okay. But, you you tell people that you're lowering the armor of the soldier. <laughs> yeah, to 198 to account for that message. But um, I will say it's it's a long time historical message. It's always been there, and I'm I'm not inclined to actually remove it. But yeah, but I mean, I, I get scratch, what you're saying though. But I'm not going to be bothered. I would totally put it in. Okay. I don't think things should be hidden from the user and showing it to the user. Although I, I understand, like, it's not, if it was the real world or whatever, you wouldn't get a message about, but not about even that, it. But like, why but, doesn't it say, like, hey, you rocket jumped? Or, hey, you set a depth pack? Or, you know, whatever. Okay, so the initial reason when it came in, there was no, like, they weren't thinking about it strategically. So I'm not arguing about the origin, but I'm saying, saying like, strategic niche, it allows the defense to react to and to an exit that would otherwise be, um, you know, impossible to react to, which I think is a good thing because always those things are undefended. And I think the game's evolved around it. Yeah, I like I like it. I think the game would play very differently. Imagine if you have to plan for that constantly and you couldn't react to it at all. Yeah, oh, I don't think it makes a big difference. But like I said, I'm not. I'm fine not to change. Yeah. Anyway, good philosophical difference. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'll I'll put this in and we can see if it's bad. I don't see it being bad, but obviously yeah, we can remove it later on. Bad. And um, it also means that, yeah, if we ever release Fortress 1 for Easy Quake again, we could put the possibility of a reload sound on it. Um, alternatively, when we go to FTE, or if we go to FTE, we can remove it. Um, we can remove the message and just have it communicated straight server to client. Yeah, sounds good. All right, well, I'll see if I can be bothered putting it in tonight. <laughs> Are you a bit drunk? No, I've just been at work for like 14 hours or something. I'm just wow. tired. Oh, why? It's just a busy time of year, that's all. That's, uh, that's really a thing. I feel so bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, I normally don't get into work till 10 a.m. and then I leave at like 5 or 5.30, so it's fine. Yeah. And I get days off and stuff for days like this. Okay, well, that's good. And on that note, 
I need to get back to my day job. <laughs> got a couple more hours in me. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, man. Good night to all my viewers.